Hi everyone, this video is for my beautiful goddaughter Aubrey, who I'm now going to also refer to as Coach Aubrey because she's teaching me how to do flexibility and gymnastics. So this video is just going through some of the things that Aubrey showed me in her video. So I'm going to start with some of her stretches. I'm going to start by stretching down to the right. And then she showed me stretching down to the left. We know how important stretching before activity is. And then stretching to the middle, I'll do a little bit of. And I like this stretch because it gets the hamstring muscles in the backs of the legs. And then Aubrey showed me the butterfly stretch. And I really liked it. She said you could shake out your butterflies. So I imagine a bunch of butterflies just like flying away when I do that. And she also showed me getting tall and then reaching down towards my toes. So I'm also going to do some other stretches that I think might help me to get ready for what we're preparing to do. And the first thing I'm going to do is a lunge. And the reason I'm going to add in the lunge for me is because I know if I try to go into a back bend, it's going to stretch my hip flexor muscles. Now my hip flexors, some of them start at your low back and they cross into the front of the hip and they help us to bring our hips up. So when we go into a back bend, our hip flexors get stretched. And right now in this low lunge, I'm working on stretching my right hip flexors. Ah, <sighs> feels good. So I'm gonna switch to the other side now. And stretching some of my left hip flexors because my spine isn't a nine-year-old or 10-year-old spine. My spine is a 30-year-old spine, so I need a little bit of warming up before I go right into a back bend. <laughs> oh, okay, that feels good. So the other thing I'm gonna do, not only to stretch my hip flexors, but also to get my back get ready to bend, is I'm gonna do some exercises down on the ground. I hope you can see me, but maybe not. I'm just gonna lift up through my chest a little bit, and try to bend through my back. I'm going to do this a few times. I kind of feel like a worm <laughs> or a snake when I do this kind of slithering. The other nice thing about this stretch, oh, I think you can see me, good, um, is that you can kind of just like hang out in this. So you can watch TV or just kind of relax or even you know write or play video games or whatever in this position and my yoga teacher made a joke that we never bend backwards to throw something in the trash so as we get older our spine doesn't get to do this motion as much and I'm always telling my patients it's good to get down on the floor and just practice some a little bit of extension definitely don't want to be the 80 or 90 year old person that can't stand up straight <laughs> so that's why it's good to do some of these things Okay, so next, I'm gonna do some bridging, which is, for me, just gonna be laying down on the ground. I'm gonna bring my heels towards my butt, and then I'm gonna try to just lift my tailbone up into the air, and I like to kinda like squeegee my shoulder blades underneath me, and I cross my fingers, and I just try to like kinda lift my heart up to the ceiling. Squeeze my butt in a bridge. The other thing that I can do here, and I've been practicing and working on this for a while, is a wheel. So I can put my hands underneath my shoulders. Woo! That's a big deal for me. <laughs> Okay, so those are all the things I can do right now. And my goal is to be able to do what Coach Aubrey can do, which is go from standing into that position I just showed you. So now I'm gonna do some of the things that Aubrey showed me in the video too. And I'm gonna start with the one on the bed first. So she showed us that you can kind of practice leaning back. Oh, maybe I'll need some pillows. <laughs> So I'm going to practice 
practices and leaning back. Ooh. My head hit the pillow. All right, cool. So that felt like a pretty good stretch. I think I'm going to kind of stick with that for a little while. <laughs> Clearly I need to practice that a little bit more because I don't want to lose my balance. I'm going to try it one more time. Let's see if I can do it without losing my balance. Okay. Cool. So I bet if I got like practice and did better, then I could probably take a pillow out, take another pillow out, and then practice on the bed, and then maybe go a little bit lower. The other thing Aubrey showed us was on the wall, so I think I'm going to try that next. I feel like I'm in a good place away. Hmm. I like that because I can use my hands, which is nice. It makes me feel a little bit more confident. All right, I'm going to try one more time. I'm going to try going kind of using my left arm a little bit more. All right, and then I guess I could progress by trying to walk farther and farther down the wall with my goal of making it down to the ground. Whew, that was a good little exercise routine, and I want to thank my coach Aubrey for teaching me all these great things. And